What's up everybody, my name is Legacy Tom and I'm back today for another episode for my Manchester United vlog series. Today we're talking about the match that took place yesterday at Upton Park between West Ham and Manchester United. And as you can see, the bottom of your screen, a uh, comfortable win for United um, at Upton Park. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, West Ham nil, Manchester United 2. Two goals from Wayne Rooney. Now, a lot of people say that, you know, Van Persie keeps on getting all his injuries, <clears throat> that um, this could benefit, you know, Rooney getting good goal tally for the season. I think it does benefit Rooney because when they played together, Van Persie always decides to go on a loan, not pick up support as much as he used to in the first season when he got all those goals and provided the, that support for Rooney but he doesn't do that anymore and I, and I think that um, that benefits Rooney when Van Persie isn't playing because he gets all that support from all the other players like Mata, Kagawa, well back in Ashley Young um, and he benefited obviously yester uh, yesterday with two goals. The first goal was at this world um, just uh, over the halfway line um, brushes Tompkins out of the way, half volley, it was like a loop shot almost, and it caught uh, Adrian out, who's the West Ham goalkeeper for yesterday's game, caught Adrian out and um, yeah, went in for a fabulous goal. Uh, was it better than Bex's goal? I think so, uh, mainly because with, Beckham, Beck, with David Beckham's goal against uh, FC Wimbledon on his debut, uh, it was on a half wing line and it hit it uh, when it was on the turf and it like it went straight into the goal. But with Rooney's one, it was like a half volley loop shot into the goal. Second goal was a very good counter attacking move uh, for one for one place in the field to the other in the blink of an eye. Um, I think it was Raphael passed it to Rooney and Rooney set actually on his way who played a uh, uh, white. On the on the right right wing yesterday, uh, took on McCarthy, beat McCarthy. Uh, cross came in, actually took a nick off Mark Noble straight to his path. He made it two 0 and a pretty com uh, pretty comfortable win uh, for Manchester United. West Ham were very poor yesterday. I think I think they only had like one shot and goal, a couple of scares for Manchester United, but nothing really to threat the hairs goal that much. Uh, so back to back wins for Manchester United. Um, I think that when it gets in the PR cost was a very was a big confidence boost. But down it had Bayern Munich in the Champions League, which is gonna be a very big task. I think Bayern Munich are probably the best team in the world at the moment. I think if you look at their the squad they have Mansukic, Rubri, Robin, you know, they have lots of good players. Jordi Alba at left back and get forward quite a bit, so whoever's in that right back position for Manchester United is gonna to have to take a lot of care. Um, when he goes down that wing, when we'll see that need to go to play them in a couple of weeks' time. But next game for Manchester United, very very big game, uh, Tuesday night uh, against Manchester City uh, at Old Trafford. Um, obviously, two key pl two key player, uh, one key player missing out for both sides. Obviously, Van Persie for Manchester United and Sergio Aguero, their top scorer for for Manchester City. Um, will I have an effect on the game? Probably, but I think that's going to be a very tough game to call. Um, but I suppose if United do win, then it will be a big confidence boost for them, and it will be a big day for Manchester City. Um, so yeah, and actually, um, can United make the Europa League? It could be possible, but I think it would be good not to make the Europa League, because when it comes to next season, they will have more time to prepare for their next games on the Saturday. So, oh, hold on. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So, um, so yeah, um, back to what I was saying. Uh, Europa League, I think, um, won't be such a big target for Manchester United. If they could keep where they are, except for sixth, I think that would be good for now because next year um, they'll have to prepare the next games longer so I think that will definitely benefit a lot. 
So guys, do a like if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, um, and I'll see you guys very, very soon, maybe on Tuesday, maybe on Wednesday even, uh, because I, if I don't have time on Tuesday, then I'll definitely do it on Wednesday if Manchester United win. So I'll see you guys very, very soon. Meow. <laughs>